Gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate showdown between the two all-terrain tire giants, the Bridgestone Dueler Revo 3 and the BF Goodrich KO2. Today, we'll be dissecting these rubbery warriors and putting their capabilities to the test. So buckle up for an engaging ride into the world of all-terrain tires. May the best tire win. But first, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and visit comparethetire.com to check out all the other comparisons including this one. Let's kick things off by examining the design intricacies of each tire. The Bridgestone Dueler Revo 3 with its central area featuring two main ribs flaunts a unique design that gives it its characteristic traction prowess. The combination of these ribs and their intricate layout including wave-like middle and wider outer channels lends the Revo 3 its distinctive personality. And it doesn't stop there. The Revo 3 boasts a wealth of additional features such as longitudinal connectors and chamfered edges which work together to ensure that the tire's blocks don't impede one another. In contrast, the BF Goodrich Q2 exhibits an interlocking thread block design that boasts a high void ratio. Its three main ribs interlock to create a harmonious pattern that's not only statically pleasing but also offers exceptional performance. The K2 doesn't shy away from flexing its muscles either. It showcases impressive 3D sides and staggered shoulder blocks with serrated lugs ready to tackle even the most challenging terrains out there. Now let's discuss each tire's on-road capabilities. The Bridgestone Revo 3 with its narrower block valleys maintains superior rubber to road contact, making it a better choice for highway driving. The softer compound in the Revo 3 offers more grip on the pavements, contributing to the tire's on-road superiority. Furthermore, the increased number of sipes and their flexibility provide better wet traction by efficiently displacing water and preventing hydroplaning. In essence, the Revo 3 offers a stable, comfortable, and a quieter ride for those primarily traveling on paved roads. The BF Goodrich K02, while still decent on dry roads, lags behind in wet conditions. Its comparatively harder rubber compound and ineffective sides result in reduced flexibility and wet handling capabilities. However, its wider grooves redeem it by offering better hydroplaning resistance as water easily passes through its larger thread voids. Though the tire swearly lacks in other on-road performance metrics in comparison. In case of noise, the Dueler AT Revo 3 with packed up shoulders don't allow air particles to come in from sides and hit the thread walls, which basically what generates most of the noise. It comes in mostly through the shoulders. And in combination to that, its superior pitch sequencing technology dampen down the noise further. So what's that? Well, its thread blocks vary in geometry from one another and so air particles hitting them generate different types of tones at different angles and then they tend to or at least try to cancel out each other. On the other side, the BFG K02 with such wild outer shoulder area allows air particles to freely move in and strike the walls around with full force generating louder on-road noise. Moreover, the tire's stiffer compound not only affects its water wiping abilities, but you also get a jittery ride with it as well. That's because its rubber can't soak up the bumps or say imperfections of the road as much as its counterpart. <laughs> When it comes to off-road muddy trains, the BF Goodrich K2 takes the cake, no doubt about that. 
despite its interlocking patterns less than ideal self-cleaning abilities. The Q2 tire's mud scoops and bulkier sidewall lugs help it dig its way out of the muddy situation in a much better way. The Bridgestone Dueler Revo 3, with its less prominent serrated shoulder blocks and thinner sidewall lugs, falls short in this category. The tire's connecting blocks also lack sufficient spacing to allow mud to pass through, further hindering its performance in muddy terrains. The main culprit here is the tire's continuous running shoulders. They just simply don't allow the mud to leave out sideways, and this causes faster mud packing and loses all sorts of traction values. And although its shoulders are somewhat serrated, they are not properly scooped like seen on KO2, which basically throw back the thick mud and create effective forward momentum with them. <laughs> Snowy trains are tricky, as here you need to avoid as much rubber to snow contact as possible. That's why skinnier tires do so great. With skinnier tires, basically, lugs put more pressure on the snow, lodging the particles in. And KO2 not only offers that, comparing all sizes, but you also get a heavier weight on this tire. And of course, there's also its interlocking structure. The weight ensures that more snow could get packed in, while the interlocking design of its hook-shaped lugs keep those snow particles intact, making superior snow-to-snow -snow contact and, as a result, a better grip. So it makes sense why the tire earns 3 Peak Mountain Snowflake rating unlike the Bridgestone Revo 3. Though let me tell you one thing, out of all the other non 3 Big Mountain Snowflake rated tires we've reviewed, the Dueler 80 comes out on top and that is attributed to its snow voices and solid in-groove notches. <sighs> Rocky Train demands toughness and durability, and the BF Goodrich K02 delivers on both counts. With its stronger 3 ply polyester casing and two steel bells wrapped in two spirally wound nylons, the tire renders a better puncture resistance than the Bridgestone's 2 ply construction. In fact, K02 is the strongest tire you'd find in the all train category. Moreover, the tire's interlocking design creates an exceptional balance of lateral and longitudinal traction ensuring a firm grip on rocky surfaces, while its full depth sipes split open all the way down to the base to enhance that biting efficacy. The Bridgestone Revo 3, on the other hand, falls short in this category. Its less aggressive shoulder blocks limit its lateral traction, which is of course very crucial for preventing slippage and potential vehicle rollovers. Additionally, its thinner sidewall lugs hamper the tire's performance during sidewall flexing in off-road situations. Now before moving on towards the verdict, let's look at the sizes specs these tires provide. The BF Goodrich Q2 now comes in total of 91 sizes coming in 15 to 22 inches, while the Bridgestone Dueler Revo 3 comes in 16 to 20 inches rim diameters having following specs. And so, after this thrilling exploration of tire performance, we reach our verdict. Despite both contenders being marketed as all-train tires, they excel in very different areas. The BF Goodrich K2 outshines its competitor in nearly every off-road category, with its aggressive design and superior strength thanks to its 3-ply construction. On the other hand, the Bridgestone Dueler 80 Revo 3, while sacrificing some off-road capabilities, is perfectly suited for pavement-heavy driving. If you spend most of your time on streets and highways, the Revo 3 is an ideal choice, providing better fuel efficiency along with superior wet and dry traction. So what do you think? Do tell in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.